Today, we are taking a look at the popular VR fitness app, Supernatural. We'll be covering what the workouts are like, how effective they are, and how I feel about the overall program being offered here, as well as who I think this will and will not be a great fit for. And we're starting right now. Hey, this is Colin Jenkins with Connect The Watts, where we cover the latest connected fitness news, reviews, tips, and guides. This is our first VR fitness review, but it won't be our last. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification if you want more content just like this. You know, I've been playing around with different VR games for over the past five years, but until recently when I got the Oculus Quest, I've never really considered trying any fitness focused programs. I mean, I know there are plenty of games that got me drenched in sweat, but none of which that was the primary purpose. And the reason I wasn't interested in fitness and VR is because all of the fitness sets I've had in the past have all been pretty bulky or required a ton of cords. But now that I have the Oculus Quest with its smaller, lighter and cord free design, it really does open up the possibilities of better fitness experiences. So I wanted to try a fitness program that I'd heard a lot of people talking about Supernatural. In Supernatural, there are four workout categories. The primary workout type by far with the most content is flow. So let's talk about that first. In flow, you have two batons or bats, one white and one black that you use to hit targets of corresponding colors, all to the beat of a song or playlist. If you've ever played Beat Saber, it's very similar to that except for one key difference. In Supernatural, the workouts are designed to get you moving much more with a wider range of motion. So instead of everything being tight and compact, some targets are up high, others are low, and there are often triangular barriers that show up that force you to squat or side squat to stay within them. The workouts have you moving all around 360 degrees as you follow along to the targets, all coached by instructors who help you warm up and cool down after each session. The workout flows are also pretty decent in length, ranging anywhere from 10 minutes up to 30. And the more I did the flow workouts, the better I became and the more I enjoyed it because at the beginning, you're thinking so much about what to do and which arms should hit which targets that you're just trying to keep up with it all. But after a while, after you become accustomed to it, you really can enter a flow-like state where your brain just turns off, your body just starts responding, and you sort of just get lost in the music. And once that all started to click for me and I was able to take on Supernatural's harder workouts, I really started to enjoy it as the music here is really good and each workout is designed in unique ways around each song. And although I found these flow workouts to be really fun, the problem I have with them is that as someone who works out pretty frequently, they don't really demand enough out of me to make me feel like I got a complete workout. It would occasionally get my heart rate up moderately high, but nothing near a typical non VR workout. So generally I would use these flow sessions as more of a warm up for other workouts. And to that end, they worked great. But then, I tried some of their boxing classes. Now boxing is a newer category for Supernatural and it's very similar to the flow workouts except you are throwing various punches and dodges and I found this to be a much more difficult and effective workout overall. Just be careful when throwing those uppercuts because you can definitely end up punching your headset and I'm not gonna lie, I did that multiple times. There's three things though that I really didn't like about Supernatural's boxing. One is that there is very little instruction on form for throwing these punches. And as someone who is newer to shadow boxing, instruction is really important and it really helps to see and follow along to instructor while you do it. And that's not really offered here. Two is that I wish Supernatural would be able to utilize the Oculus's controller free hand tracking mode because holding onto the controllers is not how I'd really like to be taking boxing classes. And I know that there are other boxing apps that utilize hand tracking and don't need the controller. The last bummer for me on the boxing workouts is that being newer and I'm guessing a little less popular is that they have a much smaller library compared to the flow and new workouts are not released daily like they are for the other category. Then there is the meditation category. And I'm not a huge meditation guy, but I do like what they have here. Being in these environments really helps you become less distracted. So I found it much easier to focus on the instructions being spoken. And because of that, I feel like VR is a really good natural fit for meditation because it just takes you away and transports you somewhere very calm and relaxing. Now, I don't think the meditation here is the reason to get the app, but it is a nice inclusion. And finally, there is the stretching category. 
The classes that I took here, I actually really liked and similar to meditation, I found it useful to have no distractions while I stretched. And while what here is good, Supernatural offers very little in this category with only a few more than a dozen classes to choose from and most of them being pretty short. I think this is a missed opportunity because if this was expanded to daily sessions, I think I would find myself jumping into Supernatural more often just to take them. Now, after you complete a workout, you can see your scores, your stats, your heart rate info, all of which I found to be pretty well organized. But the biggest downside to me was the leaderboard. One of the things that drives me to push myself in these workouts is the scoring system. But without being able to compare my score to everybody else, it all of a sudden becomes meaningless and Supernatural has decided to stay away from being labeled as competitive by removing everybody from the leaderboard who isn't your friend. And since none of my friends use Supernatural, that means I have nobody to compare to. And I think this is a huge mistake and completely removes a big incentive that would keep me interested in coming back. Another big mistake, in my opinion, is the lack of gamification, which is crazy to say because on the surface, Supernatural seems to be all about gamifying fitness. But in reality, they do very little. There's no daily, weekly, or monthly challenges to complete. There's nothing to earn or work towards here. And I know that may sound silly, but being a game, I feel like there's no excuse not to have these simple things that make many games so addictive. So why not add monthly challenges? Why not have a multiplayer mode where you can compete head to head against other players? Why not have rankings? And why hide the leaderboard? To me, it really makes no sense to take away so much of what could have been a really attractive offer, especially when we consider the price of Supernatural, and this is honestly what I have the biggest issue with. Supernatural costs $19 per month or $180 per year if you pay up front. And this isn't absurd by any means for a complete fitness experience, but a complete fitness experience is not what Supernatural is offering here yet. The program is mainly limited to daily flow and some boxing workouts, and to be fair, they are really well done and I'm sure the production of these with the music rights costs quite a bit, but for a lot of people like me who would be interested in using Supernatural as a supplement to other more complete programs in terms of the types of classes offered, and I think it's a good supplement with the flows and the boxing, but $180 just seems too steep for what it is. Maybe if there was more than one new workout a day or other types of body weight strength or core classes offered or more regular stretching sessions, or even if they just implemented more ways to be competitive with a functioning leaderboard or challenges to compete in or anything more than what they currently offer. Now, if you are completely new to fitness and just want something fun to get motivated to move each day, then I think Supernatural could be worth it, at least until you get into a regular routine or you reach your initial fitness goals, and then maybe wanna move on to something else that can provide a bit more. Or you can always use Supernatural as a fun supplement to other workouts, as long as you use it enough that you can justify the $19 per month price point. And since Supernatural is continually evolving with new updates, I'll definitely be jumping back in every so often to see what's new and improved because at the end of the day, I've really enjoyed my time with it so far. It's a lot of fun and I'm hopeful that at some point I'll be able to make an update saying that this is a great deal, but today it's not quite there.